Okay, today's lesson is on how to convert square and cubic measurements. So, in other words, area and volume conversions. Up until now, you've been doing linear measurements. Let's do a quick little refresher here. For example, if you have 127 millimeters, and you want to know how many centimeters is that? Well, you had a couple of ways you could do this. The first one is to use a proportion where we just compare millimeters to centimeters. And so you would look on your little chart and you know that 10 millimeters is one centimeter. And in this case, we have 127 millimeters. So I'm going to put that up here, 127 millimeters. And I want to know how many centimeters that is. So we'll cross multiply, you get 10x is 127. Divide by 10, so x is 12.7. Oops, sorry about that. 12.7 centimeters. Okay, that's one way to do conversions. The other way that you might have chosen to do this is to look at that little chart where we have our basic unit of meters, and then you have centimeters down here and millimeters down here. And we use this chart to just see how far the decimal moves. So, for example, we're given 127 millimeters, and I want to know how many centimeters it is. Well, since it's moving exactly one, one interval here on this little chart, that tells me my decimal is going to move one spot too. And so 127 millimeters would be 12.7 centimeters. Okay, so either one of those works. But what we're doing today is a little bit different. Here you have meter squared equals centimeter squared. So how do you do that? Well, first of all, let's have a, a look at what this means. What is a meter squared? Well, a square unit is two-dimensional. One meter by one meter. This is one meter squared. One times one is one. And I want to know how many centimeters squared that is. Well, if you recall, one meter is 100 centimeters. And this is also 100 centimeters. So if I want to figure out the area, and I multiply 100 times 100, this turns out to be, what's 100 times 100? 10,000 centimeters squared. Okay, so square units work a little bit differently than linear units. Instead of just one conversion, you need to consider that really what you've got here is a whole bunch of wee little squares, right? They're, each one of these little squares is one square centimeter. Okay, so let's take a look at the second one, 2.6 meters squared. I'm going to slide down here. I want to know 2.6 meters squared is how many millimeters squared? Okay, so first of all, this does not mean 2.6 meters times 2.6 meters, right? Because 2.6 times 2.6 is not 2.6. So this is not what it means. What 2.6 meters squared means is you have one meter squared, and then you have another meter squared, and then here you would have one more meter squared, but you don't have the full meter, you only have 0.6 meters squared. So that's what 2.6 meters squared is. So what we're going to do is figure out, well, one meter squared is how many millimeters squared. If I know that, I can just multiply by 2.6. So let's try that. Here's one meter by one meter. How many millimeters in a meter? It's 1,000. This is also 1,000. So if I multiply that, 1,000 times 1,000, this is 1 million millimeters squared. But I don't want 1 meter squared. I want 2.6 meters squared. So what do I do? to get that. I'm going to go 
times 1 million, which is just 2.6 million. Okay, so let's put that in here. 2,600,000. All right, let's try the next one. 3.2 centimeters squared is how many meters squared? Okay, again, remember this doesn't mean 3.2 times 3.2. Let's first look at, oh, sorry, it's not meters squared, it's millimeters squared. Let's look at one centimeter squared. So that's one centimeter times one centimeter. How many millimeters is that? 10 millimeters times 10 millimeters. So one centimeter squared is 100 millimeters squared. And if one centimeter squared equals 100 millimeters squared, this will be 3.2 times 100. Okay, so 3.2 times 100 is 320. All right, why don't you pause the video right now and try A. See if you can do A on your own. All right, so you're back, and I want to know how many centimeters squared 2,345 millimeters squared is. Again, start by looking at one square unit. This is one millimeter times one millimeter. One millimeter is decimal one centimeters. So one square millimeter would be decimal one times decimal one, which is 0 0.01 centimeter squared. Okay, so if 1 is decimal 0, 1 centimeter squared, what's 2,345? Well, I'm going to have to go 2,345 times 0 0.01, which is just going to move the decimal over twice. So 23.45. Okay, next one. This one is a little bit different. It's a cubic unit. So let's figure this one out. One meter cubed is how many centimeters cubed? Was it centimeters? No, millimeters. Okay, what's a cubic meter look like? Well, this turns into three dimensions. You have length times width times height or depth. So this is one meter by one meter by one meter. That's one cubic meter. Let's now figure out how many millimeters that is. How many millimeters in a meter? It's a thousand. By a thousand. By a thousand. So one meter cubed is going to be a thousand times a thousand times a thousand which is, wow, that's a lot of zeros. One billion millimeters cubed. In case you're not clear on that, remember that one meter is a thousand millimeters. So one meter cubed is one meter times one meter times one meter, or a thousand millimeters times a thousand millimeters times a thousand millimeters. So we have one with nine zeros. So now we have probably the trickiest one, 3.2 meters cubed. How many centimeters cubed? 3.2 meters cubed is how many centimeters cubed? Okay, again, start with a cubic meter. 
This is one meter by one meter by one meter. This is a meter cubed. How many centimeters in a meter? 100 times 100 times 100. So one meter cubed will be 100 times 100 times 100, which is 1 million centimeters cubed. But I don't want 1 meter cubed. I want 3.2. So this will be 3.2 million. Okay, and if you're not sure where to get that, this is 3.2 times 1 million. Okay, so there is the lesson on surface area and volume measurements, conversions. If you could try some of those questions in the homework now, and let me know if you have any questions or concerns.